Y'all, I swear I don't like to stress myself out, but I had this idea and I wanted to try it. Meet Richie the Scammer. That's literally his name, Richie the Scammer. Former criminal, just got out of jail, but he has a big, a big heart. And since his criminal days are over, he's looking to start a family, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, we are gonna do like the most torturous challenge of adopting a child every day literally every day i was like let's see how this goes we starting off with 180 dollars let me give y'all a house tour this is way better than the last family um y'all know how that went oh who fighting is that cassandra and there's a fire started wait 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 extinguish the fire extinguish it dog ran away from home oh my god we were making spaghetti! Look, this is our cute little 3x3 three three kitchen, single walkway. We even got this dining room area with four chairs, cause, like, I couldn't really afford any more, but. We even decorated, like, the outside for when they get here. Like, we got spotlights, the balloons and everything. We got firecrackers, the little spinny things, the confetti things. We got everything. Then we got Richie's room over here. Listen, like, it's a whole lot of red, no Playboy Cardi, but listen. I'm like, she, he kind of got, he kind of got it decked out a little bit. And then we have the kids room. Um, it has a bed, a lamp, and a keg because I didn't know where else to put it. Immediately, we are going to go ahead and call up the service. Get our first kid going, you know. Oh, sorry, you don't meet the financial standards to adopt. Oh, we only got $180. Okay, okay. Well, Mr. Humble just left us a present. And I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, that gives you like 3000 there we go 1500 that's good that's good sorry you don't meet the financial standards what do we need like ten thousand or something like if you're wondering what world i'm playing in i literally just downloaded it right before i started this video look how nice it is i'm like what it's called like morgard or something like that i'll leave a link to the neighborhood in the description she kind of bad who is this hold on hold on hold on hold on who are you Beatrix, okay. Let's go ahead and talk to her real quick. We might need a mom, you know, to take care of these kids. Oh, look, and she already having a drink. She know she on that type of timing. Oh my goodness, stop talking to me. You making me miss out on oh, my girl, like. Bro, everybody's in my way. I'm about to set this house on fire, like. Okay, go say what's up to her, go say what's up. Be bold, be confident. It's like his first day out of prison, so like. Oh, yo, pause. Is that a ring on her finger? Now, does that come with the outfit, or are you married? I think we can ask her. Ask about relationship status, oh, like, what's going on? Man, Damn, okay, bro. Oh. Chill out, like, chill out. You don't gotta do all that, for real. I'll kick you right out this house, ma. It's not even that deep, for real. She is really gorgeous, like, dang. This dress is eating down, honestly, like, I love it. Well, that's how y'all get down? Y'all just drink drinks and put the cups on the ground? Like, we didn't even have a single drink yet, so I know it wasn't us. We about to kick these bitches out. So at this point, y'all know how we needed money. I had this man digging like all day, <laughs> trying to get $5,000 so we could get our first kid and shit. And after five hours, this is what happened. Please, tell me something good. What is it? Yes! Yes! Finally! My goodness, it's been all day. Five day out. And we got $7,000, we might not even need a job. Shit, just gonna keep digging shit. Yes, we wanna adopt a child. Congratulations, thank you. <laughs> to celebrate, we gonna hit the club. Yeah, let's go to the club. Ooh, we have arrived, we have arrived, we have arrived. This place is nice. Oh my goodness. Shit, who are you? Oh, I thought he said shit too. There's this girl, Mary Christman. She's mad pretty. Like, why are all the townies in this world pretty as shit? We just gonna talk to her a little bit. I wanna ask her about her relationship status, but evidently, that's an offensive question around here. Who are you? Rocking that purple mohawk. Okay. All right, and we actually have like an attraction to her. Like, I'm optimistic because guys, I, I don't wanna raise these kids by myself. And I'm desperate for help, like, real bad. Like, look at this. There's no way we're doing this alone. Y'all hear how hard she laughing? She and us. Oh, never mind. Ain't no way, bro. Okay, okay. Oh, she wants to flirt. We can flirt. Let's flirt real quick. Let's cancel everything. That's all you have to say. That's all you have to say this whole time. We can get flirting right now. Who is that? Bro, why is everybody so attractive? But our loyalty lies with Mary. We're gonna ask her on a date. Maybe take her to another bar, I think. Let's go to the old wear club. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is this, is this the Old World Club? It's a little sketchy. 
Mary probably think we gonna kidnap her or something. Hey! Ooh! Why is this place fire? Yo! This is sick! Yo, okay, I'm gonna make sure to put this link in the description. This day needs to go well, because it's not that our kids are gonna need a mom, but if they want a healthy upbringing, they gonna need a little bit more than Richie. I'm scared, we only got a minute 40, wait! She wants to be friends with us, that's gonna happen too. There we go, now it's good. Oh, uh-oh! Oh no! Damn, I know your head hurt. Oh, who's been staying on the floor? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, there's a ring on her finger. Okay, we'll hold off. We'll hold off. For now. <laughs> I need to see if she has a ring on her finger. Oh, stop moving. Stop moving. She's trying to get us to not... Stop moving! You don't want to... Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Please stand still. Let me see your hands, bro. Stop. Now she want to stand still. Okay. And I don't think I saw no ring, so we good. Make out, make out, make out. No. Oh my gosh. The day did not go the best. Let's go home. Oh, he stank real bad. Ugh. We need to throw a party. It's our first kid. Like, we need to celebrate. Let's throw a party. Let's throw a house party. We invited everybody we know. All right, who showed up? Who showed up? Who showed up? Okay, the matchmaker making an appearance. We might need her in case things with Mary don't go well. Who else is coming? Oh, the fine ass bartender. Ooh, maybe the kids don't need a mama. Maybe they need another father. I don't know. Everybody gets cereal. Thank you guys for coming to my house, for to my home. Everyone gets cereal, like. Oop, um, okay, um, let's not use the sparklers yet. Um, we're trying to save them for like the main occasion when the child arrives. Um, the other guests have already used seven, so if you could just put Thank you, thank you. Turn on the music. Ma'am, please put the sparkler down. If I gotta ask again, I'm pulling out the Glock. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is, ain't no way somebody gonna laugh at me like that and walk away with both of their kneecaps. Oh my gosh, they was finna get it on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just go change the music real quick. You stay in here, stay here. I'll be right back. So tell me why I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and then like next thing you know, it turns out the social worker didn't even show up at all. So we're gonna skip to the next day where I threw a party again, and then the social worker actually came. All right, let's tap into the second party. Hopefully the social worker actually shows. Oh, and they get it right to it. They wasted no time. Now it's past 10, like come on. I know they didn't forget about me again, bitch. I'm about to pull up to that office and take my Glock and just, oh! All right, I'm spinning the wheel just because I feel like that's fair to determine like what life stage we're gonna get. I'm really, really hoping for a child, obviously, because I just don't want to deal with no damn toddler, bro. Oh, I didn't even get to. Oh, I think I waited too long. Okay, they gave us a child, so I'm not mad, honestly. Package is no longer out for delivery. The package is here. Welcome home, Deanna. Oh. It's our first kid, y'all. Look. Look at the family tree, bro. Oh my gosh. The kid just got home and he getting freaky in the back in his leopard fucking underwear. At least say hello to the child. Like, bro. Ah. Oh, she freaky like that. Okay. He freaky too. Yeah. That is so wild that they put that in the game because y'all know what that means. I mean, he bust nut. <laughs> Hell yeah, we want to adopt another kid. What you mean you just dropped one off? Give me another. We have 7,000 and like no toys for kids, so we should get something. What is this? Poison Ivy? We can splash somebody with this? What if we splash Deanna? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't call CPS, stop. Splash Sophus. Honestly, it's just because I feel like nobody else deserves to die as much as him. Yeah, right in the stomach. Okay. Ooh, I hope it kills him. Okay, he itching. Well, he itching real bad, like he got bed bugs or something. So, when does he die? He seems completely unfazed. I'm confused. Damn, that poison ivy got him itching bad. Like, shoot, let's make, make me itch. Oh, look. Man, I'm telling y'all, he just had a trouble pass. He a good guy. He really is. Okay, I don't think he's gonna die because he's just playing with the Rubik's Sphere. Like, it didn't really do anything. See, and now he's just itching again, but it's not really killing him. Ugh. I was just gonna tell Richie to come out here and kiss her, but never mind. She's gonna have that funky fresh breath. Wait, this says deadly poison. That's what we need. Woo, he feeling devious. I know his heart beating out his chest. We waking up another side of this man. Oh my gosh. Fur, what you doing here, man? 
Oh, he did say he go by Philip. Now he trying to stay on the cover, y'all. Look, Deanna trying to finesse her autograph real quick. Yeah, that's Ferb. From Phineas and Ferb. Deanna, I know you watched that show, huh? Watch. Like, hold on. Why are they laid up? Ain't no way the matchmaker is getting freaky ah. in my bed. <laughs> nah. She ain't come here to help us matchmake. She came here to make a match for herself. Look, like, she is laid up for her, man. Don't play with her. Now I'm finding out that somebody broke my shower. And who left this toilet like this? These bitches is violating my whole house at this point. They gotta go. Everybody needs to go now. Yeah. Ferb in the back trying to pour everybody up. He said he knows what he's gonna go do today. He getting everybody drunk. He took a drink for himself. And now they sleeping in my bed too? Y'all, is this squatting? Can I call the cops? Why we gotta sleep in the kid's room in the kid's bed? And look, where does, where's Deanna gonna sleep now? I'm just gonna get rid of the guests one by one by myself. Yeah, go ahead and sit that. Yeah, it's nasty, huh? Oh my gosh, that's what Ferb whipped up. You need to go talk to him. I don't know what he poured up. But why is he okay, though? Now he gonna leave? Oh, no, nah, he's just trying to get out of here before the matchmakers start asking that what are we question. Didn't even wait for her to wake up. I bet it was a good time considering they used my house like they lived in it. I bet it was a good time. Who is this? Who is that? Uh, she saw the alarm and go sneak back out. Yeah, get out of my house, bitch. Oh, wait, she's gonna get Deanna. Please get her, officer. Get her. <laughs> Deanna is sprinting. And she gonna wave to Deanna. She waving like, see you at school. What a night. I low-key feel bad. I low-key feel bad. Aww. Whip out that phone. Do, 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 do. We're gonna call up Mary. I really want her to move in. Who the fuck is Toby? Now she says she wanna bring her side to the main's house. Yeah, go ahead, bring over Toby. Yeah, bring him over. Rip his head off! Where did Mary go? Oh, she's like, I can't stand to watch my two lovers fight. She not moving. That car in the back. Oh, bitch. You just gotta tell him to go home. Richie says, Grandpa, I really gotta give it to you. And he just gonna wave. And then he gonna clap. He's not scared. She moving in, but how much she moving in with? Let's see. Oh, a nice 17,000. I think for the entirety of this video, I just don't want a toddler or a baby. Yes. Where is his car seat at? Where is his seat belt at? Why was he just propped up in the back like that? Like, that's how we doing it now? Anyways, Richie Jr., y'all. But I was thinking we got this $17,000. We got this new baby. I think it's time to expand the house a little bit because we need more room, right? Look. Yeah, look at the kitchen. It's a little bit bigger. You can walk in it now. Like, come on, tap in. Ooh, how far do we go? How far? Not that far because I did run out of money. We have a whole elevator. Who else got an elevator? They can get freaky in an elevator. Hold on, hold on now. Hold on, we ain't signed that warranty. We ain't getting no warranty on that. Be careful now. Oh, they shaking the they shaking the doors back and forth. He got all these brand new amenities and just gonna leave Richie Jr. on the floor. That's just as bad as leaving him in the back seat with no car seat or seat belt, and he's stiff. Okay, he moving. Okay, good. Oh. Okay, Genie Lamp. Thank you. After you was getting freaky in my bed, like yeah, it's the least you could do. Thank you. Rub the lamp. Ooh, the almighty wise purple man. We're saved. I want to be a witch, and I want that robe too. Okay, okay, wait. Oh, I thought the spell went wrong. I thought he was about to die. Fran, you look good. Yeah, this robe is camp. Get another Met Gala. I'm gonna let them rest, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get back with y'all on the next day. <gasps> My baby! No! I've been watching a lot of um Kia's videos. Yeah, no, I'm gonna call CPS on CPS because they just really got him in the back like this. Then they play this little tune to act like we didn't see it either. What did she do? Did she just put my baby under her car? And now she drove over it? My baby! No! <laughs> Skunk! 
While working the phones at the campaign office, Richard receives a call from a reporter claiming to be from the Sim City Herald. The reporter says he just has a few questions about the campaign. Richard could go on and bother the council's members' personal assistants or answer the questions himself as he should. And he's fired on the spot. Like, yeah. Man, wait till we tell him about skunk. Just wait. Genie, we have fallen on tough times. We ask that you can find a way to financially stabilize our household. Just asking for a couple bands real quick. You know, not nothing like too too crazy, but like a little something something to get us by on the get by to get by. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what's up. Thanks, boss. Damn. Damn. Oh, oh. Better be a nice check considering he almost broke our neck. Fifty dollars. I'm starting to feel a little pessimistic. And when you feel like things can't be worse, you get the next pandemic in your toilet. Like, can we win? I want bands. I want to feel like it's raining on me. Yeah, now you getting it? Bruh! Oh my god. Genie done knocked him out clean, y'all. No! Look at his knees. They're terrible. I feel like normally he'd take care of himself before it got that low. Mary came home from work pregnant. How does that happen? It's okay. I know that baby's ours. Mary love our stanky self. She can't get enough of us. Did y'all see that stench when he got out of the chair? No! Hey, it's Richie Jr.'s birthday! We gotta buy a cake. Before we get the cake, we need to get a bag. And she's pregnant. Everyone, this is the definition of a hard worker. You gotta keep digging, though. Hey, if you stink, that means you putting in the work. Just find something good. Ooh, that's gotta be the jackpot. A bone. Mary, okay, I'm gonna need you to- Oh, Mary, no! Come on, Richie, I know it was right there. Honestly, if any of the neighbors are watching, this probably looks terrible. Like father, like son. I stink. You stink. We all stink. Oh, he's ginger. Shouts to Ricky Jr. Why he look a little spooky? It's getting rough out here, low key. Money is tight. Mary? Mary, it's me. Mary. Mary. Mary, it's me. Mary. Mary, oh my god. Mary. This skunk approaching my house like he got business with somebody here. Okay, she's tweaking. Oh, she's like actually miserable. She wants to perform music for tips. Does freestyling count? That's music to me. Go ahead, spit a little something. Let's hear it. Hey. I know that one. Mary out. Not she thought she was going to be a one hit wonder. Come on. Don't act surprised, sis. Come on. Pack it up. Alrighty. I just don't want a baby. We barely made it. I want to thank Richie Jr., Mary Beatrix. I want to thank the matchmaker and all my friends. All right. I'm ready. Pull up on me. I'm ready now. I want the child. Whoa. Yo! Mary didn't finish making her meal in time. No! No! Dude, we can't find another mom? That blows me. That really blows me. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the family, Ira. You came on a very unfortunate day, but welcome to the family. <laughs> Deanna's like, don't play that with me. I just got robbed. Oh, brother, this job ain't even worth it no more, honestly. Like, we don't make a lot. As the days go on, I dread pressing this button more and more. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. At least they got you in the car properly, because if you saw the way your brothers came, you would have wanted to Uber. Oh, she was ready to go. She took off full speed, didn't even tie the sketchers. Like, Skunk has been crying, and Richie Jr. has been wailing like it's driving me nuts. Ooh, Mary making a guest appearance for the night. Oh, she going straight to the bedroom. Why is she cheering? She's like, hey, I used to get freaky there in the real world. Good son. I am getting so tired of having a baby. I really, really am. At least it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Skunk. Oh, he long limbed. That honestly spooked me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Who smashed Mary's urn, bruh? 
We're just gonna put it right back up on the fridge. That is so disrespectful. Okay, put Skunk in the crib. And then Richie Jr. Put Richie Jr. in the crib. Put Richie Jr. in the crib. Put Richie Jr. I know the social worker is pulling up to this house and looking at the outside of this and is wondering if they did a proper thorough check before dropping off what is to be our what sixth child to the specific home look even she's confused she like nah some not right some not right uh -huh. say hello to kegston oh that is nasty as hell he put him right on the ground after that i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna invite over beatrix i really need her to move in like please come through <gasps> can my friend pneumonia come over too is she bad well then, yes. Yeah, Brooke approves. She like her body's tea. She get money. Bet your best game, Richie. We really need her to move in, bro. Like, I'm so desperate at this point. Going for the... Oh, why is she rejecting us like that? Dude, I'm telling you, she switches up. Like, actually. First they love you, then they switch. I'm really glad Deanna's finally grown up. Because now we get an extra hand, like... This does, in fact, ease my stress a little bit. She don't even know what she in for. And now Richie Jr. Oh, they grow up so fast. Did y'all just see him wave behind him like that? Like, what was that? Oh, Jr. trying to escape. But he fell asleep before he could press the button. That's unfortunate. I feel like the more I deal with this household, the more overstimulated I get. And he's serving the mac and cheese to the guests before he even serves it to his own kids. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, I'm starting to dread this part. Yes. Lord help me. Okay, I bought a TV and a couch, and I knew it was a good idea. Like, they love this. Like, they thriving. You guys, it is with a very heavy heart that I tell y'all, we had to move into another house. <laughs> And it wasn't by choice. I don't know what happened, but after the game crashed, every time I tried to open the last lot, it would not open. So, but new beginnings, I guess. And this house is so small. Uh, I miss my elevator. I'm gonna have them both get to dig in. Like, hopefully we find a treasure chest or something like that because we, we just need funds. Like, we're broke. And we also need to have Richie give birth to this baby again. Oh, Deanna! Deanna, oh, this is why we adopted you, Deanna. Oh, she's really carrying this damn family, bro. Like, there we go. Right before my game crashed, like, that final adoption went through. But then my game crashed, so I lost it. Technically, it would be another day, so we do have to adopt another kid, too. And since we can't adopt another kid, we just gonna have to spawn it in. Not only do we have Rashetta, but now we have New House Baby as well. And no, I'm not using that to describe her. Her name is literally just New House Baby. I couldn't think of nothing else. Yo, I invited Beatrix over. And immediately, they going upstairs to the room. And they about to get it, they about to get it on and funky. Oh, why'd she leave, bro? You was just going up there. You was for it. Oh, Brooke like, oh shit, mommy? Like, yeah, it's about to be your new stepmama in a minute. <laughs> Look at Deanna. The firstborns really are the second parents, for real. She is so amazing. I'm so grateful for her. <laughs> I'm just trying to get her to move in, y'all. Like, that's literally all I want. Like, I right, bet. Move in. That is not what I said to do. It's Keg Stan's birthday. Deanna, I really need you to age up Keg Stan, please. And thank you. Oh, who can move in? Should I take everybody and work them as, like, dogs? Like, can't come in the main house type dogs? We want everybody. I want all your money. Like, actually. Whoa! 531 Thaya? Damn! Damn, Beatrix! Damn! What can we do with 535 Thaya? What's this relationship going on? So this is your brother? Ooh, that's T. Whole time I thought this was her husband. It's her husband's brother. But her husband's brother has a thing for her. So she's cheating on her husband with her husband's brother. And her husband's brother is cheating on her with the dupe. It's pneumonia. Wait, 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 wait. And he's engaged to her? Get this bitch over here. 
where's pneumonia we need her side of the story okay there's too many bodies in one house so what we're gonna do we're gonna expand five hundred and thirty thousand dollars bitch let me decorate this house real quick i do not think you guys are ready to see the makeover i just gave this house okay we can start with the backyard look at this look we got a hot tub we got a pool we got a water slide we got a pool ladder we got a diving board we got this big old gorilla statue with a basketball court all right let's go to floor one okay okay we got this big old tv right here three couches bitch a piano look we got a christmas tree it ain't even christmas yet we got this little nook area for some like you know studying and we got another tv right here bitch and look the elevator look you see him using it look you see deanna about to use it too and oh damn why they close the door on richie look at our kitchen i low-key did the bare minimum with this i was all like a kitchen a kitchen we hardly gonna use it anyways look we got little um activities for the toddlers we got the bubble blowing machine we got this little game that like i think it's like don't wake the llama i don't know and then over here we went ahead and doubled down on the kids beds just because i know all these babies are gonna be aging up real soon we still need to celebrate keg stan's birthday what the heck i gave deanna her own room because like she deserves it she kind of carried she was carrying the family making hot dogs digging up treasure chests and shit i was like she needs her own room she is the first boring you know now y'all not ready for this next floor bam welcome to the clubhouse bitch and look we even got a workout room in this bitch like and a sauna too in case we want to get freaky or something let me take you to the bedroom oh not brooke sleeping on the damn couch she got like there's so many beds in the house got the master bedroom it's kind of decked out i low-key forgot to finish it and he's like a rug right here some stuff on the table somebody's feelings about to get real hurt a couple people oh i almost kissed the wrong person oh she's standing there she's like i don't want to do this look now they both mad the brothers is pissed off yeah we really with her not true not true no it's okay you don't need him like actually stop crying stop crying just break up with him actually break up you know what was happening at least you can still live in the mansion you know hey breaking in that new bed for real yeah yeah bah. Mm -hmm. thank you for the 500k baby <laughs> All right, and I'm low-key gonna cheat real quick just because I just want her to have her kids before the video's over. So let's go ahead and give birth. Fingers crossed it's a boy, bro. I want it to be a boy. Oh, man, it's a girl. Yo! Yo! Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now nah, we need to get to the clinic. We need to get to the clinic real quick. Don't even push them out yet. Everybody get in a car. We need to get to the clinic. Yo! She just had four kids. Nah, she gotta move out. Four? We don't even have no space for that. Oh my goodness. And all of them were girls. Not a singular boy. Last thing we're gonna do and then we end in the video. Bring Keg Stan to his cake. Ain't nobody coming to celebrate the birthday? Where everybody at? Where's the love? Where's the... Oh, they're all right here. I was all like, where's the energy? Where's the father? Happy birthday, Keg Stan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Keg Stan. Happy birthday, bowl of candles. Happy birthday, Keg Stan. Wow, damn. Keg Stan got inches. All right. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. Let's go ahead and do the total count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 fucking kids. You got what you wanted. He wanted to be a family man. He got a family for sure, you know. Y'all remember when I said he keep his face in that mask? Have y'all noticed throughout the video he has been showing his face way more? He's confident. And his kids brought him to that point. That made me so happy. He's still stank. He been stanking this entire video. Like, damn. Thank you guys so much for watching as we adopted a kid every single day. Originally, I wanted this video to just be like a one thing type of video. But I do think I want to do a follow up video of playing as this household. Just because I can only imagine how hectic it is. Bitch, I know the butler ain't coming for a play. Oh, I was about to say yeah please clean up do your job thank you guys so much for watching make sure to follow me on all my socials linked down below especially my instagram so that you can see when i'm posting what i'm gonna be posting or sneak peeks of future projects that you don't want to miss and with that being said i will see you guys next time goodbye